Hey guys, this is CTG once again bringing you the weekly mutation. It is still Charnel House on Minor Evacuation. I'm gonna go for something different this time. I saw that most of the people were going for Stukov and Karax, so I'm gonna try something different. I am uh, playing as Kerrigan, and my ally Aaron is playing as Nova. I am once again casting this from a replay, as because I don't have my normal PC right here in Cebu. But that's fine since I can still play, but not record. Deborah Green, Guildmaster of the local Kelmorian mining crew. My people have to be evacuated as soon as possible. Our ships can't start their launch sequences without attracting the infested. We need you to protect us until we're up in the air. So, uh, we're not using the strongest commanders this we have game. Several ships ready for launch. Head out to one of them when you're ready so that it can prepare for liftoff. So we're gonna have to be a bit creative in order to beat this mutation. And right away, you can see that I made a little mistake. I, uh got the drone before I started the Overlord. That's gonna set me back a few seconds. Which is not great, but uh, not that big of a deal, actually. Let's start a pair of gases. This is gonna want to get my, my, uh, my gas income early. So the strategy of this game is to wall off with Omega Worms, and uh, I'm gonna have lurkers behind to peck away at the enemy forces. The uh, the trick here, uh, I think, I think, I hope so, is that Nova's Marines will not have that much health. That means the plague will uh, will de deduct a little from their health, not as much as the bigger units. And uh, with their passive healing as well as Kerrigan's creep healing, I actually hope to be able to, uh, or we at least we hope to be able to out heal the plague when we are on Kerrigan's creep, malignant creep. And with lurkers behind, that, that should take care of uh, the large hordes of small units, the infested. That's the plan at least. So I go for the evolution chamber so I can get Kerrigan's upgrades early on. Queen is out. So I inject right away. Kerrigan is getting the Ghost Visor upgrade to allow her to see uh, cloaked units. I start a, a lair. And Nova is also researching the uh, marine range uh, laser targeting system. I start Heroic Fortitude to give Kerrigan more health. That will allow her to tank some more damage. Before she falls, and my ally is also starting Super Stim Pack. I've got a ship that can't wait any longer. They'll be taking off soon, with or without your help. Yeah, the the plan is clearly Marines, and it looks like my ally is going to go for a fast command center. He's going to use that to now back to it. Float it over to the expansion area. Take out that building, and right off the bat. Kerrigan already infected with the disease Black Death. Kerrigan uses the sabotage rune. I help out a bit. Yeah, get that to low health. So the sabotage rune can kill it right away. Take out these defenses. Uh oh. Check the lair. And I get a hatchery beside that, and I get my first Omega Worm, or my Omega Network. I start the Chain Reaction Upgrade for Kerrigan, to allow her to attack four units at once. It's basically the Glaive Worm, except it doesn't diminish in damage output. Leaping Strike on that Nidus, so that the enemy units will not have a chance to spew forth and augment the Attack waves, uh, damage output. Of course, we're going to protect the ship. It looks like we're going to have another Nidus Worm from the enemy. Oh, rip Kerrigan. That's not good. Ugh, I'm going to get stuck here early on. Uh, maybe I should, uh, well, I don't really have enough to affect the early game. Mm. 
We're gonna let our ally uh, do a bit of work for now. And as you can see, Nova can handle pretty well on her own. She has the uh, penetrating blast. That ship's getting out of here. It's pretty great for uh, attacking large waves of small enemy units. Oh, of course my drone gets shot. Of course my drone gets shot. Uh, that's another one over there. Oh, there's an Anidus worm there. Uh, what's Kangen doing over there? Chilling out by her hive. Ooh, looks like we're gonna be facing uh, Bailing Scourge this game. Not sure how much that's gonna affect the gameplay since we're mostly gonna be concerned with the infested here. Kill that overseer. And yeah, for those of you who do not have the are heading directly for one of the ships. You have to stop them. For those of you who don't you don't have the uh, paid commanders, uh, apparently even Swan, Vorazun, and uh, Zagara need Legacy of the Void to be playable. So for those of you who are playing on a starter pack, Carrigan, Raider, and Artanis are all playable. So you might want to employ part of this strategy at least. I think Raynor can cover pretty well for what Nova is doing. He can spam spider mines, which will do a wonderful job of clearing out hordes of enemy units. Defensive drone initiated. So I farm a bunch of resources. Spawn the Omega Worm. Won't be long before the enemy starts attacking the ship, and those people start to die. Mm. Well, that's one fewer disaster to worry about. Thank you, commanders. Yeah, I'll try to inject these hatcheries so they can spawn more lava for me. I spawn another Omega network beside my hatchery, so I'll have a lot a place to rally my forces to. Mm. Looks like the strategy is going well so far. Those marines seem to be out healing the plague. They're all afflicted, but being on creep, the super stim pack, and the passive healing are all contributing. Looks like my ally is getting the uh, upgrade that will allow Nova to regen energy when she kills off something that she snipes. And spider mines, of course. A critical part of the strategy, spider mines. Always good to have. Now he is researching the siege tank graduating range and the upgrade for Nova that allows her to double the range of her penetrating blast. Oh, Nova used a nuke to clear out the next wave. I think that's pretty smart. That'll mean less work for us once we get to this part of the game. <laughs> no, Kerrigan went all the way around just to get to the Omega Network. Anyway, we're out here now. So start clearing these buildings. Kill that. And that factory. Zap, zap, zap. Uh, send some drones into the Omega network so we can uh, produce some spore crawlers. Uh oh. Looks like my ally wants to start. Looks like my ally wants to start the launch sequence. And that is fine, since uh, I'm actually starting to get a big mass of uh, Omega Omega networks that will allow me to continuously spawn these guys. <laughs> yeah, the wall looks good now. A wall of worms, and as you can see, the worms can actually take. A lot of hits, and they're actually easy to replace. So uh, yeah, we're just uh, we're just letting the enemy keep hitting, and I'm gonna keep remaking them. My hope here is that oh, some banshees to kill those things. Yeah, my hope here is that I can remake my Omega Worms faster than the enemy can kill them. 
when that happens, no matter how much they try to hit, I'll always have more worms and they will never get through and go for the ships. That's the plan at least. You might remember that I used, I used this uh, a similar strategy at least. On this very same map, the mutation I believe was out of sight with the invisible purifier beam and I just uh, baited the purifier beams using my Omega Worms, and I'm gonna use the same strategy here, <laughs> just uh, bait the enemy attacks using the Omega Worms, the free worms. Carrying us back. Yeah, just, <laughs> I don't think, yeah, the enemy doesn't seem to be getting through, and that's all, it's all very nice. Start uh, creeping up this next. The KMC supplied us with eradicators. They've gone haywire. If you could deal with them for us, I'd appreciate it. Yeah, let's start warming up this next area. Yeah, wasn't really concerned. Gotta put a stop to them, commanders. I mean, if we were playing Stukov and Karax, we would totally go for these objectives, but. Yeah, suboptimal commanders, etc. So we're launching the third ship already. It's time to assimilate some resources. They have a few lurkers in place, but not all that much. Should try to get more at some point. Hey, look at those bailings wasting their lives on free worms. Literal free worms. Let's make more Omega Networks though, that will allow us to spam even more worms like that. <laughs> Strategy seems to be working pretty well. <laughs> just keep, uh, just keeps making more and more. <laughs> yeah, look at that! It's working beautifully. Uh oh, uh, I think a worm's about to go down. Uh oh, the wall's been breached. Uh, need more worms? There we go. Well, there's a little avenue where they can sneak through, but it's mostly all good and shut. Uh oh. Uh. These worms. These are worms. Care gun to the rescue. I used the immobilization wave to clear out that big horde. There are still a few more to get up in the air. Whew. Oh, those zerglings from the early wave are still working on my Omega Worms. You can't attack the eradicators after they're back in the facility. Hurry up if you want to destroy them. Eh, don't really care about that. The point of this is to show that other strategies work, not to go for all the bonus objectives, so... I apologize, anyway, you guys are evacuating this planet, no point in killing those eradicators once you're gone, so yeah. Let's move Kerrigan here. And merrily spam worms all around the place. You know, these worms should actually do damage to enemies, that's, or at least stun them. Look at how big those mouths are, and those, uh... Those teeth. You're telling me those teeth don't do any damage? Get real, man. Oh, Banshees. Nobody's gonna use another nuke? That's gonna clear out... Well, that at least tell me, tells me what his mastery is since it's not 20 minutes into the game and that's his second nuke so yeah it looks like he used some for the nuke cooldown but so far it's working well three out of three ships saved don't think any of the ships were damaged aside from the first one but that's before we got any any number of omega worms really Ship or chairs for you. Hell, so am I. 
you know what? <laughs> you know what? Lurkers take a while. Uh, lurkers take a while to build. <laughs> Look at me. <laughs> I'm the Carax now. <laughs> yeah, lurkers take a while to build. They also cost gas and supply. And they also get afflicted by the Black Plague, so... New plan. Just mass static defense and Omega Worms to tank. It's it's worked out so it's worked out pretty well so far, so might as well Might as well see how far we can take it, right? And spam some more drones. So I can get some more static defense. Uh oh. Looks like Kerrigan is uh, feeling the plague, but just oh, three over or four. There are four overcharged buildings trying to hit Kerrigan, but doesn't matter. We're gonna start up the fourth ship. And <laughs> look at that! Look at those Marines trying to squeeze through and get picked off single file. More worms. It's actually working out pretty well. I'm making worms faster than the enemy can kill them. Let's use psionic shift to kill a bunch of those aberrations. Of course, no comes in to finish them off. More worms. Uh oh, need more worms. Kill that truck. The zerglings are gonna die as well. Oh, that's actually uh, oh, they're actually starting to break through. But let's clear out some more of them. And Kerrig is gonna, gonna gonna go down, but not before taking out a big part of their damage output. Yeah, here's some more worms to further distract them. <laughs> no units acquired. No units acquired. Just a bunch of worms. Oh. Our expansion seems to be under attack. Uh, yeah, <laughs> all our drones are now. Uh, our all our drones are now sick. But that's fine. Let's just pull them over and turn them into static defense, so they no longer need to feel the plague. Yeah, we need to pull all of these guys. Static defense. And what? <laughs> More drones? Yeah, let's pull them all. Let's pull them all. More stack defense. It's gonna be a spine crawler forest here. And of course, when they go down, I'm just gonna use uh, more Omega Worms to replace them. Yep. Yeah, all the infected drones are now gone. Not sure if I want to replace them since I'm floating six thousand minerals and <laughs> yeah, I'm not I'm not actually spending them aside from the static defense. But I don't even need them. <laughs> I just need just need something to tank for the ship or to distract basically. To distract the enemy attack wave to keep them from actually hitting the ships. There's the next attack wave, and looks like we're gonna activate the last ship. We must be. Just a few of my people are left on the planet. We're almost there. <laughs> enemy forces incoming. Slay them to the last. This is actually working. I've stunned the enemy. Kill them. No units acquired. No worms. Yeah, distract that whole attack wave. <laughs> Spam a whole bunch of worms. Uh oh, these drones are actually vulnerable. But yeah, the the uh, the creep heal is uh, healing them faster than the plague actually. So <laughs> it doesn't matter that my whole mineral line is infected. Yeah, look at that. They're healing so fast. <laughs> are they getting through though? There's a banshee there, but uh oh, it looks like. 
This side is a bit dicey, so my ally uses uh, the airstrike to clean up the enemy forces. And oh, there's a hybrid behemoth there. And it looks like 18 seconds left. Yeah, we got this. We got this. <laughs> Just keep <laughs> pacifist mode, guys. I'm doing this mutation to pacifist mode. I can't believe it worked actually. <laughs> well, if you enjoyed that, thank you for watching. If you have a suggestion for what else you can do, please leave it in a comment. And let's see the score screen. Well, yeah, my ally basically tripled my kills, but that's fine. That's fine, actually. Uh, the strategy worked. That's all I need. See you.